The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 600. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She is the founder of Girl Geek X, and I'm really excited to have her on and share her story with us today on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Angie Chang. Angie, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Hi, this is Angie Chang. I'm the founder of Girl Geek X, which has been organizing events for over 10 years in the Bay Area, formerly known as Bay Area Girl Geek Dinners. We've shortened that to Girl Geek X. Also, I, in the past, had founded Women 2.0, which is a media company supporting women entrepreneurs, and also was an early employee executive at uh, HackRide Academy, a women's coding school in San Francisco. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Angie, what's your cultural background? My parents are from Taiwan, so I'm Taiwanese-American, first generation here in California. Thanks for sharing that. And what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? Yeah, my favorite self-confidence quote is one from Tina Fey. She says, say yes, and you'll figure it out afterwards. Thanks for sharing that. And I also believe as, as women, you know, we can always figure everything out, not always, you know, try to do everything first or make, make everything like perfect to a T, you know, because if we do that, we'll never get anything done. But if we just say yes and kind of just figure it out along the way, that's how we can learn and grow and be more confident. So thanks for sharing that great quote. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? I think self-confidence is the ability to say yes, really. And to have the personal self-confidence, but also hopefully the support of people around you, whether they're like literally your coworkers or your family or your internet friends, just people who help cheer you on and give you like that, that bedrock of support to say yes and do what you want. Thanks for sharing that great definition. And Angie, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? I think there's a few things that have really helped me find some self-confidence. When I was younger, I was a Girl Scout. And one of the things we did was we sold cookies. And I think about this because I see them all the time on the street selling cookies with, you know, the square uh, credit card reader. And I think about how hard my life used to be when I was a Girl Scout selling cookies outside of departments, out of outside of grocery stores in Southern California and running after people and trying to sell t- cookies to people and always getting no's or ignored. But occasionally we sell a box of cookies. And that was kind of, I think, one of the things that helped me gain self-confidence was hearing a lot of no's and being OK and be like, well, I'm going to be out here for an hour or two anyways. Might as well keep going and you'll, you'll get some yeses. So that was one of the things that helped me like inadvertently build some self-confidence is knowing that is selling Girl Scout cookies when I was younger. Another thing that helped, I think, self-confidence was, and I'm going to cite another thing from the past, was team sports. So when I was younger, I would do a lot of sports like softball and I did cross country. And I was always terrible. Like I was the person who was like, not that I picked last, but I always knew I wasn't very good at a sport. But I always did it, and I always had fun, made friends, and I would go into these team sports knowing I wasn't the person that was going to knock it out of the park or be super useful. But I believed in being part of the team, and I believed that the team was better with everyone, and everyone was so supportive and inclusive that even though I was never the star player, I always felt it was worth it to be part of the team and run with the pack. So I've always kind of took that into the working world and was like, well, I don't have to be number one as long as I'm with a good pack. I'm fine and you know, we'll balance each other out and we'll be, it'll be a good experience. Thanks for sharing that. And you know, what was that point in your life, you know, especially creating Girl Geek X that made you realize you had the confidence to go out there and, and create it and be the person that you are today? And what was that aha moment? Oh, yeah. I think there's just so many times where I just felt encouraged by women who have come to events I've hosted. I've always just started hosting random events, as people do when they're, like, starting out. And always getting that encouragement and feedback of, yes, we want to do this more, we want to do this more. And then, like, kind of listening to that and kind of continuing to do events and build companies out of it. So, yeah, there's no – for me, I don't have a huge aha 
moment, the big aha moment I had was more around entrepreneurship. And that took at least a year of um, listening to colleagues tell me about starting companies of their own and saying, you should start a company too. And it took me about a year to think of one that and come to a good pitch for one. But yeah, I think starting Girl Geek X and Women 2.0, it was always just listening and responding to the women in the community who said they wanted more and more events and content. And then I delivered that. Thanks for sharing that. That's great. You know, once you realize, you know, there, that, you know, you can create a difference and then you can tell by the feedback that you just go out there and do it, right? Regardless if I'm sure you've had your fair share of bad days, but we just keep going because of that bigger purpose. And, you know, because of that, what's your life been like now? Now, I think it's been really great to have built those networks before I needed them. So every time I, let's say like, I think it's been great to have the networks that I've built over the last 10 years connecting people through events because you've built a lot of goodwill and camaraderie and community around yourself so that when, for example, I was I was about to, like, if I got laid off from a day job, then suddenly I would have a community that, that if I asked for any kind of help or connections, they would be very willing to say, yeah, actually, here's something in my, in my network to help you. Thanks for sharing that. It's great when you have a good support system, right? they'll have your back no matter what happens. And, you know, they always say you're the average of the five people you're with. So, you know, who you who you surround yourself with is huge. And I think, you know, it's great that, you know, they're able to help you out when times are tough, right? So thanks for sharing that. And, you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey to self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give her? I think understanding that everyone has imposter syndrome and just to go out there and try to make, say yes to as many things as possible and then don't beat yourself up too much for like dropping the ball or changing your priorities and just always communicating where you're at if that happens. But say yes and hopefully figure it out afterwards. Thanks for sharing that great tip. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you, you and what you do and check out some of your work, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yeah, the website is girlgeek.io. We also have you follow on Twitter, girlgeekx. And also on Twitter, I'm at this girl Angie. Thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Angie, you can also head on over to the TaoSelfConfidence.com and search for Angie's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I really just want to thank Angie for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Angie. Thank you. Not a problem. It was really great having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Want to learn how you can use podcasting to market your business? Download your free report by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.